I just finished working and it's time to indulge in my current obsession. Knitting. Yeah, I'm, I'm that girly. Um, I started knitting as a teen, but as an adult, I have picked it back up because I remember how calming of an activity it is. And it has been so nice getting back into it and doing it in a more intentional and functional way so for the last like two years or so i've really been um honing in my skills and doing a lot of practicing of different techniques and lately i've been making clothes and accessories um which has been so fun uh but for this video I really want to make a pillow using this design. I saw it on a knitting podcast on YouTube. I watch so many of them. Um, they're really like satisfying to me. I like seeing what people are working on. Um, I put it on in the background while I'm working. And uh, yeah, I saw someone make this pattern into a pillow and i was like i want to make the pattern into a pillow so i got some yarn offline for the very first time i've never ordered yarn offline before i normally just go to a store near my house um but i got this brand it's called paint box um it's cotton it was very affordable and it arrived at my house very quickly and it's been very nice to knit with so far so for this project i had to kind of create it's like the pattern is for a blanket but you can you know use your common knitting knowledge to make the dimensions into honestly anything you want because it's just a repeat pattern. So to make my pillow, I decided to do a three by three grid with a border around it and then a like cable edging and the back, not a cable edging, a corded cable edging jesus not a cable edging but a corded edging and then the back be um like these stripes and the kind of like half open technique so that you can pull the insert in and out it's just an opening in the fabric and the fabric overlaps each other if that makes sense so that's my plan Part of me feels like I can do this by the weekend. I don't know why I'm feeling that ambitious, but I started it already. I have the first row of ground floor, um, ground floor houses. They don't have a roof or a sky to them yet, but this didn't take me too too long i worked on it like on and off during a road trip um the other day and i feel confident if i like sit down and like knock it out i can probably do the whole pillow <laughs> we'll see we'll see how far we can get before sunday today is thursday wednesday thursday what is it Thursday. Today is Thursday. Um, it's already evening. I've had a full day work and I'm ready to like knock this out. So I have my, um, I showed you guys my plan. I went ahead, like when I created it, I used the colors that I knew that I ordered online, but I didn't use the 
some of the yarn when it got here it was a little more pastel than i thought it was going to be so i ended up swapping it, it out for different yarn i already had on hand which is fine because the project uses very little amount of the colors it seems um so i feel like i'll have plenty of yarn and i have like a whole scrap yarn stash that if need be i will dig into especially for the back panel if i feel like i don't have enough of the yarn that i use for the front panel i'll use a different yarn for the back panel which would be totally fine because you don't see the sides at the same time okay um <laughs> I'm gonna go cozy up on the couch and work on this and watch TV with my boo um, and see how far I can get tonight before I go to bed and I'll, I'll show you guys how, how far I get. We'll see. <laughs> That is ridiculous that she's a full blown ostrich. Yeah, that's so gross. You're always doing that. Are you trying to tell me something? It's not like a sexual thing. All right, let's do this. Oh, Dr. so get up here and get acting! With pleasure, Deep. Just let me set the loop, and here I come. <laughs> So it's the next day, well the next evening, and I've been working on this project. Um, I'm on, I'm almost finished row two of three of my pattern. Uh, this is what we're looking like. Very cute. This one doesn't have a roof yet. <laughs> but it's cool because the way it's it's knit is that you knit the entire row of ground floors. You knit them this way, going up this way. And then you pick up the stitches along the top of the ground floor and you create the roof. And then from the sides of the roof, you um, create the sky on both sides. And then you stitch the two together. And so I've done the first row already. This is what the first row looks like. And then there's still a lot of thread from the first row that you'll use to stitch it onto the second row and connect the two. So yeah, it's looking really cute so far. I'm going to keep working on it. And we'll see if I can finish all three rows tonight, which will be really, really nice. Because then I can spend tomorrow working on the back. And then Sunday we'll put it all together. That's the plan. We'll see. Okay. So the fill meter at the top is like when your book is done, or the That's article. That's my next level skill level for a writer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're filling the little career goal kind of thing. Yeah. 
That's pretty similar to the old games. I think we're gonna crush service and get our hands on those doors. The clan's standing at the doors, looking at you. Your hand on one hand, the point on the other. No matter who walks out that door tonight, we're moving. Good morning, you all. Happy Sunday. It's early. I just woke up, but I'm feeling optimistic that I can finish my pillow project today. I feel like the hardest part is behind me. Um, I stayed up way too late last night finishing the front houses, but I want to show you where we are. Look at this. Look at it. So the rows are not connected yet. I still need to sew the rows together with all of these loose threads. But I swapped around these rows a dozen times trying to like figure out how I wanted to orient it. And I think this looks the best. Um, obsessed. This is my favorite house. This is my second favorite house. Honestly, I love this whole row. Um, obsessed. So what I decided last night after I did all of the cleaned up all the thread the only thread that's left is what I need to put the rows together that took forever like I accidentally stayed up until 1 a.m. making sure all the thread was um, sewn in and then I measured it right now it's sitting at 16 inches and so I want to put the border on it um, and I'm going to do a one inch border before I, I start the back panel. Um, yeah, <laughs> a one inch border that'll make it 18 inches around. And my plan is to buy a 20 inch or a 22 inch pillow insert because you're supposed to have the pillow insert be bigger than the actual pillow cover so that it looks really full. I learned that in the comment section of the IKEA pillows last night. So <laughs> that's the plan. And then here's all my leftover yarn. I only bought these 50 gram balls for the project. This is all of it, I'm pretty sure. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, ten colors. And so I'm just going to use all of these to knit the back panel um, of the, the, the back panel of the pillow. This color, I think, is what I'd like to use to go to do the border all the way around. Um, but I have so much left over of this like super light blue and also this gray color. But I'm thinking that's probably what's going to be the bulk of the back side. Um, like these colors are going to be on the back side. I think I'll use all of the rest of this for the front edge border. Right? Yeah, that feels good. I did all of this planning in my iPad, um, but sometimes once you see the colors like in person, like your mind definitely can change. Like this could be cute for the outside border. I don't know how much, this feels heavier. I may have to weigh these to see which one I have more of, but actually this feels like the move. Cause I didn't use this color a lot. I feel like I use this color quite a bit. And this could be cute. And it looks cute with like my couch and the wall. Cause I think this pillow is gonna be in this room. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I'm rambling. I'm gonna get to knitting because I really wanna finish this today. Um, so let's get started.
and me are taking a little vacation. Forever. My scarf looks nuts. Let's fix that. <laughs> I do have a hairband holding my hair up, by the way. It don't just stay like that, <laughs> but it does, but it doesn't. Um, all right, I have finished knitting all the panels and I am ready to block, block um, each part. I want to steam block it. That's how I do my blocking because I am lazy and it is quick and effective. Okay, so I have my steamer plugged up there. It's getting all warm and ready. Okay, there we go. But, uh, my little visor hat situation messed up my skirt. Oh, it won't get warm if I don't turn it on. Plugging it up doesn't do much. But this is what we're working with. We have the front. You can see it in much better light now because the sun isn't shining directly in my face. We have the front. Very cute. Um, the bottom half. Okay. Oops. This way. The bottom half. And the top half. Um, I am curious to see how they lay after I block them. Especially this one. You can see the corners are curled quite a bit. Hopefully I can get that straightened out. And I have my cutting mat on the ground because it has measurements on it. And so I'll be able to make sure each section is the dimension I need it to be and I don't over block my stuff because it really doesn't need much help I just want to like soften the, f the fabric and smooth it out and help it kind of lay better so yeah let's do that So just so you can see the difference um, between what it's like when it's blocked and it's not blocked. This section I have not blocked yet. As you can see, it is only like 16 inches um, long instead of being 18 inches, which would take it to the 36 inch mark. This one was the same, but I've blocked this side already. So you can see how it's much longer. And so I believe like the, the steam, the steamer like helps relax the fabric and allows you to stretch it. And you just leave it flat like this and it dries um, the way you shape it. Most people like will pin their garments down, but those garments tend to be like more sopping wet. This is just a light steaming. And so I find this technique works just fine for me. All right, and now it's at the 36 inch mark, which means it's 18 inches, just like the front, and just like the top of the back. Um, the way it's gonna go is this will overlap. It's gonna be like a pocket insert 
on the back. And I tried to be clever and line up the color, like this color, on both top and bottom where it should hopefully land. So it seems like one seamless stripe. I don't know if it's actually going to look like that with the pillow on the inside, but we'll see. My goal is to not have to put buttons or any type of closure on this because there's like a, almost a three inch overlap. Um, this bind off is quite flexible, but this bind off is really stiff. So I'm hoping that will like keep the pillow inside. Um, yeah. Now it's time to stitch the two, the front and back together with the I cord. Okay. <laughs> Wish me luck. That's literally the last step. It can't take that long, right? Like, as you can see by the lighting, the sun's going down. Um, but the goal is still to finish today. So I think I will, I, I fingers crossed. <laughs> um, but I did end up taking a long break for work today. I'm glad I got that work done. It took way longer than I wanted it to, but it's, it is what it is. And that's why now I'm only just finishing this step at sunset. But it's just been really nice to have a hobby that I'm excited about and gives me something to look forward to. It makes me smile, brings me joy. Like working on this pillow has been so much fun and it makes me want to design my own pillows. Like fun, okay? So let's finish it up because I'm so excited to see the finished product. <laughs> I mean, that's not funny. We are not going to talk about what day it is. I um, already knew my little three day, I can knit a pillow in three day challenge was not going to be it for real, but it was nice to like have the challenge and like be competitive with myself, I guess. I don't know if I've already said that, but <laughs> sorry, my energy is low. I'm tired. It's late at night at this point. Um, but I want to say today is like day six or day seven of me working on this pillow. Um, I had a very busy work week, so I definitely had to skip a few days of even touching the project just because I just did not have the time. But I'm very happy to report I finished it today and we are going to put the pillow into the insert together. Um, this project was super fun. I learned a lot. Um, the last part took easily two of those seven days because I did not know how to knit an eye cord, which is what I used to sew the two back front and the back together for a design feature. And so I had to watch a couple videos about that and learn how to do that and mess it up a bunch of times before I got it right. I probably unraveled and restarted the damn eye cord like seven times. Um, but I figured it out, I learned it. It was actually quite easy once I got the hang of it. And I'm very happy with what it looks like. So without further ado, here's my pillow. <gasps> Cute. The edges are kind of curled, but um, adorable, okay? I feel like it looks even better in the camera. And then for the back side, cute all right we have the slip here so let's put the pillow in okay i 
I got this pillow insert from Ikea. They have two different pillow and like square pillow inserts. This is their 20 by 20. Um, and it's the one called Inner. It is like double stuffed compared to the other one, which name I don't remember. But it is double stuffed. Um, much thicker than the other option. I read like tons of reviews online and people were complaining about how like thin and kind of lifeless the other pillow was. So I'm happy I did that research first because you kind of have to like go further into the pillow section to find this one. Any homes. Let's put this in. I'm like kind of scared. <laughs> okay, okay. Dude, I can't freaking believe I made this. I'm about to cry. <gasps> I have been waiting for this moment for a freaking week. <sighs> so I will say the pattern was like, or the project was not like super difficult, but um, the fact that there were some processes and techniques that I didn't know kind of made it go a little longer and also um, the fact that I made up a lot of it off the top of my head just like how I was going to design the pillow <sighs> you guys it's so cute and cozy <gasps> and the way that I measured out and designed these stripes have worked perfectly because look this color here matches up perfect on the bottom panel matches up perfectly with this color here on the top panel so that it just looks like one continuous stripe but it's really two stripes i did that i did that this is what it looks like wow i made this look at it cannot believe I freaking made this pillow um yeah very freaking cool I will definitely make sure I link the safer at home or safe at home pattern in my description box that's the pattern that I use for the houses but other than that I just made up the rest of it based off the um <clears throat> the pillow that I saw oh my gosh I cannot remember her name but I will link the creator that I saw who made the safe at home pattern into a pillow which a lot of people have but this was just the person I saw on YouTube um, and I saw her pillow and I was like I have to make it and so yeah it just looks so good um, yeah all of that info will be in the description and I am excited to cast on my next project Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm super happy that I got a good response on my poll that you guys wanted to see some of my knitting content. I am very passionate about it so this was exciting to actually film something. I'm not a tutorials girly because I just learn as I go. I encourage everyone else to learn as they go too but um, that's not my ministry. I, I look at other people's tutorials but um, <laughs> yeah. Yay! Until the next video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end. You're a real one. Um, let me know what you think about the pillow design. Did I do a good job? Would you try and make something like this yourself? I want to know. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!